My name is Brother Moses Weiswa. I'm a member of Christ Embassy Church, Nadia, Kampala, Uganda. I would like to welcome you to Christ Embassy Chambu Online Church. Our mission is to preach the word of God and to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the whole world. You can sign up to our link www.cechambogo.online.church I would like to take this opportunity to thank our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, and our highly esteemed Zono Pastor, Pastor Luis Osademi, for the opportunity accorded to me to preach the word of God. My theme for the sermon today will be taken from the 2021 February edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Third Wednesday, the topic is Reigning Through Jesus Christ. Death reigned by one. Much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5, verse 17. We are trained in life through Jesus Christ. In the millennium, we are not going to reign through him, but with him. Reign with him in new heaven and new earth. The Bible says, we shall reign with him a thousand years. That is Revelation chapter 20 verse 6. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. But that is all in the future. But now, we reign through him in this life. Hallelujah. Walk in that consciousness. Remember what the word says in Romans chapter 6 verse 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. This new life is the life of kings. Hallelujah. You are a king, reign as one. Rule with what? That's what kings do. The Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Exercise dominion through words. Each commands to Satan and the elements of his work of this world and they will hear and obey you because you function in and with the dominion of Christ you can alter the course of events and change circumstances from, from the privacy of your room that's what that's why you should never be moved by anything doesn't matter what the situation is you can cause them to align with the will of God through your faithful words. The Bible says, Isaiah was writing 700 years. He lived 700 years before the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, he says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. He shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Might God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So he was referring to the government of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that government is in the now. Because our Lord Jesus Christ right now is seated at the right hand of God. 
That is the seat of power. He's on the throne and is reigning through us here on earth. We are his body, the body of Christ. So the government of our Jesus Christ is on the body, on the shoulders. So we are part of the government of our Lord Jesus Christ and we are reigning through him here on earth. And in the book of Matthew chapter 16 from verse 18 and I also say to you that you, Peter, that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. So Jesus Christ is the rock. And indeed on this rock he says, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And he says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That is authority. The keys that is authority, that is power. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Our Lord Jesus Christ has given the keys of the kingdom of heaven to his church. And that is authority. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is lost in heaven. So we can bind any circumstance, be it sickness, be it demonic spirits. We bind them in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus Christ. And he says, Go therefore. That is a commandment with power. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Lord has commanded us to go and win souls all over the world with power. He has given us the authority, the keys of the kingdom. And in the book of Mark, chapter 16, he says, In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. He has given us the name. His name, the name of Jesus, by which reign on earth. That is where the power is to reign on earth, to heal the sick, to perform miracles, signs and wonders, and to defeat the enemy. The Bible says we are his battle axe, we are his weapons of war, we are his ambassadors, and he has given us the power to reign in his name here on earth and in the book of revelations chapter 5 from verse 9 to 10 and they sang a new song saying you are worthy to take the scroll and it open its seals for you are slain and have redeemed us out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on earth. We are kings. We issue decrees in the name of Jesus. We establish decrees. We bind, we lose in the name of Jesus. The words we speak, they carry power. Our Lord says, my words, that is the power that we have in that name. To reign as kings and priests to our God here on earth. May the Lord bless you. Amen.